Happy Friday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2019 Panini Prism Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. And thanks, everybody, for getting in. This is the full caser. All 12 boxes. Now, if you're watching the Thanks Don for that last spot mojo, there it is. And thanks, everybody, of course. Uh, this is part of tonight's uh, break credit promo. Details are on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, if you are watching the replay of this and you're like, man, I do not want to watch or fast forward through an hour and a half of video, don't worry. There'll be a recap video. So look at our list of videos for that. Unless I forgot, but look for it. If you're watching with me live right now, <laughs> sorry, guys, you're just you're stuck with me. You're stuck with me for an hour and 20 minutes. Thereabouts. Uh-oh. This is not a good... Not a good unboxing here. Oh, boy. What is going on there? How is that floating just in the air like that? What kind of sorcery is that? What is going on? Wow, that's weird. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, six. Oh, they're all over there. Oh, look at that one all the way over there. All right. I guess this one wants to go first. All right, let me reorganize my boxes here. All right. So there's one up front here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So there you go. All accounted for. Nothing missing. <laughs> All right, Todd in the house, the Todd father. The daughter graduated uh, junior college, nice. That would be... Elena, right? And then there's a Lauren, and then there's a Paige. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, nice. Oh, nice, I got it. What did, what did she, uh, do you, do you declare a major for junior college or something like that? Or what, what is she gonna do? What's the future hold for her, Todd? Box one, three autographs per box. Some hot boxes in here are possible. Six autographs, there are parallel hot boxes and stuff. So, a lot of fun things. Give myself a little bit of room here. I think I have enough top loaders here. All right, so let's do it. Nice. So she got associates, general studies, transferring to a four-year to get her BA in interior design. Nice. You know, there's Ryan Messinger. That's nice. Rookie auto for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Rick Barker. Sam said, wife had the master's degree graduation last weekend, and the four-year-old had the pre-K graduation. Yeah, the preschool graduation. Ooh. That's that's the tearjerker. Get a good speaker. Maybe get someone who's in like 
third grade, come back and be like, I remember, I remember graduating pre-K, the whole life ahead of me. I want a graduation speech. And I'm breezing by these, in case this is the beginning of the break. So I'm breezing by these just because they're not numbered. They will ship, though. It's only veteran commons that won't ship. And these red and blue parallels are also not numbered, but they're parallel, so they'll ship. These are numbered, so these will be sleeved up later and shipped out. Fran Mil Reyes, 399 Yeah, Gilo says Bill Gates spoke at his pre-K graduation. It's pretty good. That's a good speaker. Rosell Herrera to three ninety nine for Miami. There's Daniel Ponce de Leon. Oh, I thought it was an autograph. Why would they do that? There's the autograph. Nineteen out of twenty five. Scott Barlow, Burgundy Shimmer. That is for Kansas City. Brett Myers with the Royals. I need the Royals to score some runs here. Is Matt Harvey still pitching? Come on, Roy I have financial interest in the Royals. Come on, Royals. Don't let me down. All right, there you go. Back-to-back -back walks. Matt Harvey meltdown in progress. And there's Rowdy Rowdy Tellez. That's for the Blue Jays. That goes to Mark Irons. There you go, Mark Irons. Irons. It's your third autograph of the box, unless it's in the hot box. Then we we'll, might see a few more. It is an autograph hot box. Riley Farrell, rookie autograph for Miami. That'll be for Rick Barker. Starting off hot. There's Victor Robles, to three ninety nine. Nationals. We got Scooter Jeanette to 199. And 21 out of 60, it's Kristen Stewart. Nice rookie auto for the Tigers. AJ Anderson with the Tigers. Nice. What's that parallel card? There's AJ Anderson. I don't know. I'm going to learn all these parallels. <laughs> I'm going to try. There's so many. This is just blue wave to 60. There you go. There you go. Now AJ Anderson. Yes, you can go to bed. You're dismissed. You got a hit. Everything else is gravy. Kristen Stewart, great prospect, great player. You're good to go. And more burgundy. Yeah, no, you're dismissed, AJ. Get out of here. East Coast guy. You don't. No need to wait. Everything else will be gravy. You'll just watch the recap in the morning and see what else you got. 12 out of 25, Bayatal Avellino. And, no, no, that's it. And trolled. Evan Longoria to 199. Well, who, whose name do you love? Kristen Stewart? Because it reminds you of Twilight, Todd? Is that what you're... There you go. Six autographs. Autograph hot box. Next box. Hopefully the Tigers will sign. Oh, Scooter. Never mind. I was going to say, hopefully the Tigers will sign a player named Robert Pattinson. That'd be pretty funny, right?
Punisher Prime says, anyone else have a dog that le lies next and then drops a silent but deadly one on him? And then leaves? Todd's dog does. That means they're comfortable around you. They feel safe. Yes, Sam, I, I did see that. It's a very interesting casting choice. Robert Pattinson, yes, of Twilight. Or Cedric Diggory in the Harry Potters franchise. Um, is the new Batman? I don't know. I think all the Batmans are going to be pretty bad for a while after Christian Bale, Christopher Nolan version. Next box. That's a train whistle, folks. One out of five, Willie Calhoun. That is for the Rangers. That goes to EO and the Rangers. There you go, Eric. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Got Justin Verlander to 399. There's Richie Martin, 13 out of 99. Zebra. Richie Martin going to the O's. EA. The Eric's going back to back. EA this time with the Orioles. There's Justin Smoke to 199. We got James Norwood to 199. Glaber Torres to 299. I didn't see any of Ben Affleck's Batman, 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 Batman's, but I didn't think he was terrible, but there's Chris and Stewart again. But yeah, Robert Patton just doesn't sound, <coughs> I mean, he'd have to really, I, I mean, I guess it's a challenge, right? As if you're an actor, Carlos Correa, three nine, he's got to really bulk up. Unless he's going for like hipster skinny jeans, Batman. It's Sean Newcomb to three ninety nine. Maybe that's the take new take on Batman. Hipster millennial Batman. Saving Gotham is so hard. Zach Granke to two ninety nine. Why am I always the one saving Gotham? I'll post it on my Instagram. Pablo Lopez. Going to Rick Barker in the Miami Marlins. Carlos Correa, snakeskin, 45 out of 50. I like that new parallel. That looks pretty cool. Big Boppy to 399, David Ortiz. Luke Weaver, nice Luke Weaver. Game ball graphs. Nice autograph for Sam and the Diamondbacks. Oh, you enjoyed decorated the decorated caps tonight? Why are we doing decorated caps? You mean in baseball? Or at the graduation? Out of 299. I feel like the Royals are wearing different caps tonight. They have gold trim in that KC. Is that new? Is that always their road uniform? Oh, for the students graduating. Nice. One of the students graduating in veterinarian tech, her cap said, I puggin' did it. It's pretty good. It's 
pretty good. Did it remind you? Uh, did it remind you of this guy? There he is. That was your first thought? Old Bubba, Bubba the Pug. Yeah, he's pretty great. I like that picture of him sleeping near the fire. Like, it's like, oh, I'm not usually a, just pretending like he's not usually a monster. Yep, Grumpy Cat, someone else mentioned that today, earlier today too. Grumpy Cat, dead. Seven years, I feel like that's, I think only seven years? I feel like that's a little low. I don't know, maybe, maybe he had medical issues. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm not the only one who noticed that. Sam's saying they had camo caps tonight? Yeah, I thought it would be next week. I agree, I thought all those caps would be for next week. From Oh yeah, the Angels are wearing camo caps, and so are the Royals. I thought it would be next week for Memorial Day. But I guess, are they doing it all week? Or from this week through... For the next week, maybe they're doing it? It's getting a little warm in here. Oh, it's all, it's all, all week thing, says Kyle. I see. And Newman. 15 out of 99, Kevin Newman. Oh. Yeah, I noticed, guys knows that, right? We saw a Ken Griffey Jr. one in the previous case, or in the previous break. This is pretty nice too. I don't think these are too common. These are uh, it's from the Profiles set, which is pretty cool. It's really short printed, it seems like. That goes to Rick Barker and the Cardinals. There you go, Atomic. Out of 299, Pablo Reyes. Yeah, Vince, there's a, there's a big rookie who just got called up for the Brewers right now, Keston Hiuta. Southern California kid. Went to UC Irvine. Been raking in AAA. I think started off his major league career pretty decently, too. George, what's going on? Next one. I don't know if Goldie has one in that profile set. There's only like 15 names on that list. Out of 75, Kyle Tucker. And that I think I learned the other break that this is called Power Plaid. Power Plaid. So I'm going to go with, actually, let's leave this for the shipping team. Todd, do you have some Keston Hero autographs? Yeah, dust off your Keston Hero autographs. There's Justice Sheffield. Justice is served to Jay Tinney and the Mariners. Nice one for the M's. Oh, I don't know if he's in this set, though, Punisher Prime. I think he was actually called up a little early, so I don't know if any of the companies have, have him set up. He's in last year's stuff, I think. There's Jose Urania. Looking at uh, going to 99 on that one. Marlins, Rick. Power Plaid sounds like a hipster card. <laughs>
There's Jerry Rodriguez to three ninety nine. There's Chris Davis to three ninety nine. See, as soon as I turn these cards around, it's gonna go right side up again. Ren Nemo to three ninety nine. Luke Voth to 199. Should be expecting one more auto out of here. There's Tyler O'Neill to 199. Are oh, you saving some death rage? Yeah, save some death rage for, for the brother. Absolutely. And 64 out of 75. Power Plaid. Jake Cave. They changed the name of those scope ones. They call them, hmm. Okay, interesting. We'll have to wait until we see one of those. Nick Cave. So what are these called? I think these are just red, blue, and silver. Or maybe this is a, oh no, this is Cosmic Haze, I think. <laughs> That's Cosmic Haze. That's blue. That's red. The out of 299s, that's Red Mojo. These are Mojo refractors. That we know. All right, next box. Yeah, he's waiting for a one-of-one one yellow shot. Might have to lower the bar just a little bit. Otherwise, you might be disappointed every break. <laughs> but he believes. Royal scratched back a couple runs. See what happens. Logan's thinking maybe only the Astros should get the Cosmic Haze cards. Purple Haze all in my mind. Hugging along. There's Jeremy Jeffers. Silver. Red Mojo, Shohei Otani. Snakeskin, Jose Altuve. 21 out of 50. And then we've got Rosel Herrera. So they call this Navy Blue Kaleidoscope. I think they used to just call it Scope. Out of 35. Nice. Uh, 399, Brad Keller, Blue Mojo. Brad Keller is still pitching. There's the Zebra, Jaime Berea, 34 out of 99.
And there's Malik Smith. Nope, thought that was going to be a parallel. There's Scott Barlow. That's an autograph. Yes, for the Royals. Brett Myers with KC. Maybe we'll see Scott Barlow tonight. I don't know if he's on the if he's on the staff right now, but. And 64 out of 75, Colby Allard. Power Plaid. Braves, Marty. There's Tulo, Snakeskin, to 50. There's Brandon Lau, 20 out of 35. Navy Blue Kaleidoscope autograph. Nice. And that goes to Sherry and the Tampa Bay Rays. Ooh. It's hypnotic. Brandon Lau having a good season. His teammate Nate Lowe was called up and then I think got sent back down. But they spell it the same way. David Fletcher. Quit trying to make Fletch happen. That's for the Angels. And that's going to go to Mark Irons. Wait, is this another autograph hot box? It is. There's Victor Reyes to 99 for the Tigers. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's Ranger Suarez, another autograph hot box. Nice. Phillies, Christopher Day. Christopher Day, and it's always sunny in Philadelphia. All right, next box. After this box right here, we should be halfway through the break. a little bit.
G Lo's like, I hate watching. I hate watching his Royals on the West Coast. Only the sixth inning, and it's eleven o'clock where he's at. I know. Um, a couple years ago, I was in uh, I was in New York for a buddy's wedding in Brooklyn, and it was like in August or something like that. Excuse me. And um, you know, I was out and about doing my thing with the guys and gals and. It was back to my hotel room. It was in the middle of the week at some point. I was back in the hotel room, and it, it was like 11 o'clock, and I was like, wait a second. The Dodgers are on. And it's only like the third inning. And I was like, oh, man, I, could, I, would, I would never be able to live on the West Coast or on the East Coast out of 150. See ya, Todd. That's the plan. We're going to keep trying to kind of pull some fire. Oh, by the way, they call this what, but donuts, I think. Yeah, out of 150, neon orange donut circles. Not sure how I feel about that. Another Pablo Lopez for Rick and the Marlins. George Brett, 75, neon orange donut holes. Donut circles. I'm not sure if I like them. Maybe just call them donuts. Out of 3.99, Jonathan Davis. If they want to go with the donut, what did they call it before? This is Burgundy Shimmer. 22 out of 25. Now I kind of, yeah, are we kind of in the mood for a donut now? This is out of 3.9. This is Blue Mojo. And we've got another Luke Weaver game ball graphs. That's for Sam and the Snakes. Sheila wants everything on Central Time. I wonder what the best... Has has anyone lived in all three continental U.S. time zones? What's the best time zone for football? There's Goldie for the Cardinals, two ninety nine. I'm used to the West Coast, so our early games start at ten a.m. Late games at one o'clock, and then the night game starts at five o'clock. There's Jake Cave, three ninety nine. Twins with that one. There's Richie Martin for the for EA. Oh, four time zones? Oh yeah, isn't there we have a mountain time zone, don't we? I guess there's also Hawaii time too. So Central, what do you Central? Central is at twelve, three, and seven. See, that's not that's not a bad one too. Sometimes ten's a little too early if you're uh, if you've been out and about the night before. More neon orange donuts out of one fifty. But people on the East Coast have said, they're like, man, I like the East Coast because like in the morning, Sunday morning, you get all your stuff done out of 299 and then you just settle in for football all day. So you wake up and you, and you run errands, you do stuff and blah, 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 get the friends together, barbecue and whatnot. And, and then, you know, at one o'clock, there's the, there's the game. And then four o'clock, the late game. And then eight o'clock, the night game. Zebra print. But I don't know. I kind of like, I guess me being more of a night owl. There's Reese Hoskins, snakeskin for the Phillies. Me being more of a night owl, I would be like, you know what? I like that on the 
West Coast, the Sunday night football game starts at like 5 and ends at like 8. Ends at like 8 or 9. And I still have like some hours left in the Sunday night. So for those of you who lived in multiple U.S. time zones, especially during the football season, what do you like? Royals have a picture named last name Love Lady. Come on, Love Lady. There you go. Got out of the inning. We've got 40 more minutes to go in the break, Punisher Prime. I'm sure we'll find one. There's Ozzie Smith to 399. Tyler O'Neill to 199. I'm sure there's a bunch of cards that I'm not even calling out, like the non numbered ones. There could have been some Cosmic Haze Brewers in there. Adam Jones to 199. I mean, small sample size now. We're only halfway through the break. We got DJ Stewart for the O's to two ninety nine. Cole Stewart, thirty two out of fifty. Snakeskin. That goes to the Twins. That's for Karen. Trey Turner to 399. I think he's been called off the IL. There's Malik Smith to 399, the speedster. There's Cole Stewart again to 299. Jose Martinez to 50. There's David Peralta to 399 and neon orange donut circles to 150. It's Gary Carter, the kid before the kid. There's Ryan O'Hearn to 399. Bren Lau to 299. There's Dontrell Willis to 75. Power Plaid to 299. Red Mojo, Brandon Ca Crawford for the Giants. Sean Reed Foley for the Blue Jays. And Tom Seaver for the Mets. We've got Ramon Laureano, Snakeskin. For the A's, Tyler Fernandez with that. Trevor likes Central Time, but he likes watching West Coast college, college football later at Saturday night. 40 out of 50. There is Josh James for the Strohs to 99. And gold, David Wright. 8 out of 10.
That is for the Mets. That's for Rick Barker. David Wright didn't have all those injuries. Hall of Famer, right? There's Dal Lugo out of 399 for the Tigers and Kyle Tucker for the Astros to 75. And Garrett Hampson for the Rockies, Rick Barker. There's Oduble Herrera, Blue Mojo to 399. Max Muncy, Red Mojo to 299. There's Ramon again, Loriano, 399. Teoscar, no, Francisco Mejia, 299. Why was I thinking of Teoscar Hernandez? That's for the Padres. All right, we are halfway through the break. Fix myself a little tea here. Next box. So we've got about another 40 minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Hang in there. We'll get there. What do we got here? Final scores. Cubs destroyed the Nationals 14 to 6. This is on a Friday night, Friday the 17th of May 2019. Yankees beat the, uh, I think someone said they walked off the Rays, 4-3. to three. Braves had like a 12-1 lead. Brewers got eight runs back, but that was about it. Too little, too late. Rangers beat the Cardinals 7-3. to Toronto beat the White Sox 10-2. Phillies edged out the Rockies 5-4. to four. Marlins beat Jacob DeGrom and the Mets 8-6. to six. Astros 3-1 over the Red Sox. Just one mistake, two-run home run, I think. Three-run home run was the difference. George Springer with that big home run. My Dodgers shut out the Reds 6 to nothing. Orioles 5-1 over the Indians. Rare win for the O's. And Oakland 7-2 over Detroit. Pick myself a little tea here for the voice. Hmm. All right. Next box. Three more autographs to go in this box. 
Red Mojos. Another Garrett Hampson for uh, Rick and the Rockies. There you go, Rick. You're starting your Garrett Hampson PC, whether you like it or not. I think he's supposed to be one of their bigger prospects, though, isn't he? Future stars. Along with Brendan Rodgers, who got called up recently. Hunter Renfro to 299. Michael Perez for the Rays. We got G-Man Choi to 150. Neon Orange Donuts. Derek Rodriguez for the Giants. Zebra. There's Nolan Ryan for the Astros, 35. Navy Kaleidoscope. There's one for Noah Syndergaard, too. And there's Dakota Hudson, Blue Wave, to 60. And at 399, you've got Kalerke. Logan, wait, are you lost? Trevor, are you lost in the wilds of Texas? Yeah, at least it's a full moon. Follow the North Star. There's Luis Ortiz for EA and the Orioles. I did not hear what uh, Kawhi Leonard said after the... After the game, what did he say? <laughs> beep, boop, beep. Beep, boop, beep. I am a robot. My name is Kawhi Leonard. I play basketball. There's Freddie Peralta for the Brewers. Ryan Yarbrough for the Rays. Blue Mojos. Beep, boop, beep. I am good at basketball. Pablo Lopez, Red Mojo to 299. Trey Turner to 299. I think he's back from the IL. We got Odubel Herrera. That's neon green donut circles or whatever they call it, right? <laughs> yeah, neon green donut circles to 199. And then orange donut circles, Dale Murphy to 150. There's Juan Soto, neon green to 199, and power plaid, Jacob deGrom to 75. Out of 50, Austin Dean. And out of 39, CNL Perez. So they ask him where where they will go after this game. And is, he says, just going back to Toronto. Paul Reyes. And Tuki Toussaint, 82 out of 99. Zebra print autograph for Marty and the Braves. But what, hold on, Logan, was the question more like, where are you going to go as a team? Like, in the series, like, how are they going to change their tactics? But then he took it liter literally. <laughs> Out of 299, James Paxton. Joey says these cards are hidden. You don't have to buy them then, Joey. You don't have to watch. Yeah, as a team, Logan. It's like, oh, it's going back to Toronto. Just 
going back to Toronto. I wonder if Kawhi will re-sign with Toronto. He can opt out after this season. Here we go. We got Ranger Suarez to three ninety nine. Mojo. And Zebra print. Nice. Jeff McNeil. That'll be for Rick Barker and the Metropolitans. Jeff McNeil has been playing some good ball. There's Shohei Otani. He was up to bat a few moments ago. Out of 199. Neon green. Donut. Circles. Oh, wait. Did someone ask if we had a Krispy Kreme out here on the West Coast? Maybe it was Gilo. Sorry, Gabe. I just realized that you asked that question. Yes, we do. We got that. We got it years ago. Over 10 years ago, maybe. Reese McGuire to 75. But when it first came to various cities, there's Roselle Herrera to 199. It was, it was bonkers. Like people would, people would line up at the Krispy, like especially if it was one of those drive-through Krispy Kremes. Like there'd be, a, actually the, the original ones were, I think the first ones that were here were like the standalone drive-through, see the whole donuts getting made kind of factory assembly line kind of Krispy Kreme place. And it was, and people would just line up for hours hours there's Nolan Arenado to 75 power plaid but now I feel like they kind of over franchised uh, there's Justin Turner 399 they kind of over franchised the Krispy Kremes and now now they're on like little on little corners of like strip malls and you know, places where they don't make the donuts there, but they get them shipped in every morning. Johan Camargo to 150. Oh, you saw Yelich? Nice. Yeah, Shohei's, Shohei Otani is like 6'4". Yeah, he's big. Seven, uh, 12 out of 35. Navy Blue Kaleidoscope, Nick Kufo for the Rays. That's going to go to Sherry. But yeah, Otani, and he's fast too. I think he's a, he's a lot faster than people think he is or that he may seem, you know what I mean? He's got like, he might be a little bit faster than Mike Trout, I think. Anthony Rizzo, blue wave to 60. Was it, if it just looked like this, No. It won't. That would be vet base, veteran, a veteran common. But if it had color like this, it would ship. Or if it was something like this, instant impact, that would ship. Eugenio Suarez is two ninety nine. Chris Bryant starting to get hot, or is is hot right now. Marcus Simeon to thirty five. Navy Blue Kaleidoscope. Oh, it was an insert? Yes, then it would. Only veteran common zone shit. Matt Carpenter to 399. Should be one more autograph here. And there's Jonathan Lucroy. Nice. For the A's. Tyler Fernandez with the Oakland A's. Gilo had a Krispy Kreme, but then it burnt down. And they never rebuilt it. Then you recently moved to another area that had one, and you eat there almost every weekend. It's a delicacy around there. I thought I thought there'd be a lot more where you were at, Gilo. You're in the you're in Kansas City, right? There's Miles Mikolas or that area.
right, next one. Logan, you got in and out Burger a few years back and people lost their minds over it. No, not until you're not going to get trout. in out Burger is pretty good. As far as like fast food chain burgers go. You know, it's like a, not like a restaurant hamburger, but as fast food hamburgers go. Pretty good. It's pretty delicious. Uh, definitely had Whataburger. Whataburger, not as good as it in out. I had Whataburger in Houston and in multiple times in Houston when I was there and in Phoenix. It's all right. Not as good as in and out, Andy. Yeah, we do have Randy's Donuts there. It's pretty famous, Don. I drive by that Randy Randy's Donuts coming here to work every once in a while. Path kind of leads me past there sometimes. All right, we got Tim Beckham. Pro penmanship autograph for EA and the O's. Stephen K is all about five guys. We do have five. We have five guys out here. I actually like the five guys uh, fry, French fry seasoning a lot. Sometimes I wish I had an in and out burger and five guys fries. There's Sean Reed Foley to 150. There's Ricky Henderson to 399. That's Oakland A's edition. Fat burger out here is pretty good. You guys have a fat you guys have fat burgers out there? Josh James. For the Astros, that's gonna go to uh, Jason Hosner. There's G-Man Choi for the Rays to 399. Luis Severino for the Yankees to 399. Oh, I'm sorry, I lost the camera. Couldn't focus. Camera's getting tired. Ozzie Smith to 299. We do have a Smash Burger out here. There's one right or, right up the street. Smash Burger is pretty good too. They've got some good uh, they've got some good burgers there. Yeah, In and Out Fry. I guess if I had to if I had to criticize one of my favorite fast food hamburger franchises, yeah, the fries aren't that. I mean, they're really fresh. They they taste really good, but. They're a little bland sometimes. I mean, I guess they don't really season it that much. So I end up salting and peppering it to give it that that vibe. But Smash Burger has really good. I think they have, they have like olive and rosemary, garlic, skinny fries at Smash Burger that are really good. Tom Seaver to two ninety nine. All the vet commons that don't ship, that's a common question, is uh, they usually get donated to maybe a local charity, a Girls and Boys Club of America, sometimes we'll accept these, children's hospital, sometimes we've even, uh, to local guys that are here, we've sold monster boxes of them and put the money to charity. 
all sorts of they they all end up at a different somewhere sometimes the kid sometimes kids will come in we'll give them a stack of cards to go home with and goof around with like really like younger kids want to play with baseball cards They're 299, David Peralta. Yeah, no, Craig, I'm with you. If I, I would, if I'm able to, I, I would prefer to find like a, like a local like mom and pop style burger or just like, you know, a private restaurant or something like a just a restaurant where a couple guys open up the spot and everything. Try not to do chains that much. Jeffrey Rodriguez to 199. Joey's recommend Joey Knuckles recommending listen to the Doughboys podcast. It's all about chain restaurants and Slayer. All right, give it a shot. There's Mike Trout. <laughs> right when the kids don't behave, they get they get Lakers veteran base. Josh Hart, Javel McGee. <laughs> All right, three boxes to go. We are almost there. I'll be honest with you. I am, I am definitely running out of steam. This, this break is a little exhausting, to be honest with you. Need a, need a hand, need a helper. All right, now we can, we still have time to do one more break though, because this will be done in about, what, 15, 20 minutes? We're almost there, about five, 10 minutes a box. Not 30, uh, yeah, maybe a little under 20-ish minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Five, seven minutes a box. Unless there's like a train whistle or something like that. But uh, we can do a Spectra basketball. I would like that, if that fills by the bottom of the hour, we can definitely get it in tonight. We'll need to sell one team straight up, so we need a high roller to get the Lakers in Spectra basketball. Then we need to move... Six out of ten spots in the nine team spot random. Eight out of ten spots in the Mavs spot random. And seven out of ten spots in the Hawks, Suns, Kings, Raptors number block. Basically a spot random. So check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com Craig's saying out here in western New York we're famous for garbage plates. So we have a burger, hot dog sandwich around every every corner. Everyone makes their own plate. Yeah, that's something that uh, that I'm not good at. Also, you guys are, are are standers and eaters. You guys have mastered the art of standing and eating, and walking and eating, and negotiating public transportation while eating. You know whether you're whether you're just a, a common man or a stockbroker or something like that or. A, High-powered lawyer, everyone can do it. It's like an inherent New York thing. That's something that I do not have. Matt Chapman to 75. I would want to drive to places. <laughs> Where's the drive-thru? There's Max Freed. Game ball graphs. And uh, I'd be like, well, where can we sit? I was like, you want to sit here? You can just stand right there. There's like a little edge where you can sit. I'm like, oh, I can't do that. Uh, 399 Nick Martini. <laughs> Joey only eats in shame. What do you, what do you eat in shame? There's a Gabriel Guerrero. Guerrero. Gabe Guerrero. Going to the Miami Marlins. Rick Barker. Logging in some Marlins. I guess Marlins will be good someday, right? If they just rack up draft picks. Trevor Story to 399. Luis Severino to 75. We got Tyler Maley to two ninety nine. 
What do you got? What do What do you want? Are we talking? Still talking food? Andrew Heaney to two ninety nine. Are you saying? Are you suggesting you eat you you eat anything, Joey Knuckles? There's Josh Donaldson. That goes to the Braves edition of Josh Donaldson, three ninety nine. Should be one more autograph. There's Juan Gonzalez to 99. Juan Gonzalez for the Rangers. I'll grab my lunch. Go sit by, by the old oak tree and eat in the shade. That sounds that sounds peaceful, Stephen K. Sean Reed Foley. Navy Blue Kaleidoscope. Mesmerizing. That goes to Sherry in the Tampa Bay. Nope. That goes to Mark Irons in the Toronto Blue Jays. Can't read anymore. Out of 35, there's Alex Bregman, Neon Green, Donut Circles to 199. We got Yoan Mankata to 299. And chip off the old block, Chipper Jones to 25. Did everyone see Chipper Jones in the booth? Wednesday Night Baseball on ESPN. He was pretty, uh, maybe he could go into broadcasting. All right, two boxes ago. A lot of Blue Jays in Prism. Yeah, that's, that's probably why they're they're one of the more expensive teams too in Prism. He does look like a metalhead now, Joey Knuckles. In fact, we were here the night we were breaking. Uh, it was Wednesday night. We were breaking, and then uh, Jason Jaspi walks by, in between his eBay breaks, and he glances at the TV and he's like, "I thought that was like some dude from Metallica for a second. <laughs> and I kind of looked over because I heard Chipper Jones's voice. I wasn't. I was breaking or something or talking or whatever, and I wasn't really, wasn't looking at it. I was just li listening, and I look over. I'm like. Oh, yeah, he kind of does look like he does look like a guy. He, he could be like a, a fourth or fifth member of Metallica. Yeah. Larry the is his name is his real name Larry. Yeah, it can't be Chipper. No, no mom and they're. Well, they call him Chipper because he's a chip off the old block. Is the old. Larry Wayne Jones Jr. Yeah, I'd go with Chipper too. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. at a two ninety nine. John Tamminson, we used to say, shout Larry at him to harass him at games. There's Richard Urena for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Mark Irons. Did it work? John Tamminson doesn't work if you're in the nosebleeds. There's Edwin Diaz, Zebra. Oh, sorry about that. That's Jerry Rodriguez really wanted to show himself. For the Tribe, Burgundy, Shimmer. It's for Ryan L. and the Indians. <laughs> I, had a I had a buddy of mine who, had, who, was, who got into a real big metal phase. 
and had had grown out his hair super long as well. We got Johan Camargo to two ninety nine. The kids must have it easier these days, heckling wise. They can just fire up the Wikipedia, fire up the TMZ. You know what I mean? All right. There's Edwin Encarnacion to one ninety nine. There is Hunter Renfro for the Padres to three ninety nine. There's Barry Larkin for the Reds to one ninety nine. Giancarlo Stanton to three ninety nine. Clayton Kershaw to two ninety nine. All right, Logan, see you. Thanks for hanging out, man. We got Chipper. There he is. Chip off the old block out of seventy five. Power plaid. Parallel. And there's Josh James for the Astros. That's going to go to Jason Hosner. All right, almost there. Almost there, folks. Thanks for hanging with me. I couldn't couldn't survive this break without you guys. I, I would have passed out. I would have just quietly left if no one was here. There he is, Shoei Otani, 6'4", 198. Michael Kopech to 99. Zebra. If there were no viewers, I would have just been like, I would have just snuck out. Do, do the rest tomorrow. Out of 399, Ken Griffey Jr. All right. Here we go. Last box. Good luck. We made it. Oh, there's still like 34 people watching right now. Punisher Prime, Vince waiting for that miracle Christian Yelich auto in here. And maybe I'll maybe I'll request I'll request more uh, more half case breaks next time. box this is our last picker team too we don't we don't have any more cases of prism that's it you guys sold us out so thanks everyone for that all the prism we had is gone out of here out of 399 yeah you know what we had that conversation yesterday Craig I don't think I will I think my hands are strong. Brian Anderson to three thirty three ninety three whatever three something. My hands are strong. I make sure it's not that repetitive of emotion. It's not like typing. I think I'm always there's always different enough movement going on. I'm a musician, I'm a guitar player, so I guess if I haven't gotten carpal already, then I'm in the clear for now. 
Scott Barlow, rookie burgundy shimmer autograph for the Royals. Brett Myers. Brett, what's your what are your Royals doing here? I've got I've got I've got some financial interest in in the Royals. I've made an investment. And they're they're had two men on and grounded out. They're down five two. Uh, I could play a little blues. Bluesy kind of stuff. I don't know if I'd actually actually play the blues itself. Colby Allard. <laughs> Gilo's just like, man, that Royals game is taking forever. I know, Gilo. Let's 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 get a let's root for a win. Let's root for your Royals. There's Matt Olson to two ninety nine for Oakland. There's Fran Mill Reyes and Riley Farrell. Riley Farrell, Farrell. <laughs> yeah, hey Doc. Why do you have so much wrist pain? It's giving you the carpal tunnel. Opening packs, taking rides on the Big Hit Express, whatever. Yeah, I guess I guess the ump has nowhere to be, Gilo. Umpire strike zone's tiny, Gabe saying. Yeah, expand that strike zone. Let's go home. Dakota, oh, okay. <laughs> Eric Hosmer, out of two ninety nine. That's uh, that's still Royals edition. Oh, those are those are our last autographs. That's three, unless there's bonuses, unless there's another autograph hot box. Low Kane for the Brewers to two ninety nine. Could be some low number parallels here too. Train whistle maybe. There's Kristen Stewart. It is an autograph hot box. Ooh, should be two more than after this, if that's the case. Unless this was an accident. Kristen Stewart from Twilight going to. Who has Tigers again? AJ Anderson. There you go, AJ. I think we started the break. First box had, <laughs> first box had Kristen Stewart, and then AJ Anderson. Like I'm on the East Coast. Good night, guys. Thanks, Joe. See you later. And now there's another one parallel this time. And then we've got Rowdy Rowdy Tellez. Rowdy Rowdy Tellez going to the Blue Jays. Mark Irons. I had, a, I had an old constitutional law professor who's, uh, whose name was Peter Irons. Peter Irons? Jeremy Irons is the actor. P yeah, Peter Irons. There's Miguel Andujar. There's Brandon Bell to 199. And there is your sixth autograph. It's Rossell Burgundy Shimmer for the Marlins. Rick Barker with that. 15 out of 25. And one last note, folks. In music and baseball news, Joey Knuckles is reporting. First, there was Puig Destroyer. I've heard of that band. And now there's a new baseball-themed grindcore band called Colton Wong City. Nice. I like it. I like this break, too. Thanks for watching, everybody. Pick your team three in the books. We'll see you next time for 2019 Prism Baseball. Actually, we have no more. We'll look out for more. We do have a random team half case, though. Check that out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.